Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, Microsoft is in the process of rolling out the latest optional bug fix update for Windows 10. And the bug fix updates, um, which roll out now um, in the fourth week of every month, will appear in this section on your Windows update page. And with the optional updates that do roll out now near the end of every month, as I always suggest, only install them if you are experiencing any issues with your operating system. If you are completely happy how the way things are running, just ignore the update. Because um, if you don't install it now, most of the improvements and fixes will be carried over into the next Patch Tuesday update, which will be rolling out on the second Tuesday of next month, June. Now, um, if you do decide to install the update, um, which was made available on the 23rd of May, which was late yesterday in my region, the, up the update is KB5026435. Now, this month, um, the update, which is a bug fix update, does include two new features, although they are minor features, uh, are worth um, going through for the purpose of this video. And the first is, um, if we just head over to our taskbar settings, Microsoft says the update brings back an improved search box experience on the Windows 10 taskbar. So if you have, as an example, your taskbar set to the top orientation, the bottom um, orientation, um, regular, or you have the small um, icons taskbar selected, um, you will now see the search box appear, which um, previously was not the case for a lot of users, which I think has been a long time coming. So if you are using the taskbar in all of those um, different orientations, you will now see the search box. And uh, if you want to restore your previous search experience, obviously you can just right click on your taskbar, head up to your search, and you can do so accordingly from the search menu and choose those different options. Now, the next is regarding notifications, and if you do use notifications in Windows 10 and have notifications turned on, uh, just to mention this, um, the update now displays up to three high-priority toast notifications at the same time, and this feature does affect apps that use Windows OS notifications to send noti notices for calls, reminders, or alarms. Microsoft says up to four toast notifications might appear at the same time, which means that there can be three high-priority notifications and one normal priority notification. So that's the two new features. And just to head um, down in the release notes to the next four um, key highlights, and just to go through these quickly, um, the update addresses an issue that affects um, uh, access to tab settings for Internet Explorer mode sites. And there are a lot of um, fixes rolling out for Internet Explorer mode currently in the Windows updates. I have noticed and then the update addresses a multi-function label printer issue it affects the installation of some of of them so that's been addressed and if you are using the touch keyboard um, the update addresses an issue that affects the touch keyboard there are actually two touch keyboard fixes and um, apparently sometimes it didn't it did not show the correct layout based on the current input scope and also um, it was failing to open. So there are two touch keyboard updates and fixes that have rolled out. Now, this is a non-security update as mentioned, but just to mention three or four um, extra fixes in case you would be interested. Um, the update addresses an issue that affects scheduled tasks. The tasks fail when they use stored local user account credentials. And there's a fix for the Windows firewall. And uh, there's also a stop error, which is a blue screen of death um, fix, which is always important when blue screens of death are um, addressed and fixed. And um, you might get a stop error when you use NTFS to access um, a large re repass, repass point, according to Microsoft. So that's the stop error fix. And um, the update addresses a known issue that might affect some speech recognition apps. Apparently, Microsoft says they might have a sporadic speech recognition expressive input and handwriting issues and this occurs when the display language is in Chinese or Japanese and apps might not recognize certain words so that's a um, speech recognition issue that has been addressed for Chinese or Japanese languages and that's more or less what's new for this update and uh, um, if we do head over to Winver quickly about Windows um, after the update has been applied um, Windows 10 version 22H2, the OS build will now be bumped up to 19045.3031. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.